skull. Front page of the papers this morning, the Egyptian president saying, we need to, after these beheadings of Christian Egyptians in Libya, the U.S. needs to lead this coalition into Libya and fight ISIS there. Does the AUMF that he sent up to Capitol Hill allow him to do that? Yes, I mean, there's, there's no geographic limitations on the AUMF. Um, there's, um, unfortunately, very little in terms of mission objectives in the AUMF. So while the conflict has, has been fought to date under the theory of collective self-defense of Iraq, nothing in the AUMF limits the conflict to that understanding of why we're going after ISIL. Um, so that's another area that I think really needs clarification as Congress engages with the AUMF is some discussion of what are the objectives here and some limitations on what the authorization allows pursuant to an understanding of what those objectives are here because it's a very different, if the, if the sole purpose, if the sole justification is collective self-defense of Iraq, then it becomes very hard to justify going into Libya. If there is a much broader um, objective, which may be possible and may be needed, depending on the facts, then it might authorize going into, into Libya. But as written, it, it, there's no limitation, so yes, it would. Do you believe geographical limitations to any new authority given to the president to fight ISIS? I think that um, to the extent that the authorization is limited to collective self-defense of Iraq, that there ought to be geographic limitations that are consistent with that principle. So that I would write the authorization to say authorizing force in Iraq and Syria and other places where ISIL is launching attacks that are directed against Iraq. Um, so I would limit it in that way. So it would um, have to be against Iraq. If the purpose of the authorization is collective self-defense, and that's what the administration has, has claimed to date. Now, it may be that the administration's thinking on this has changed and has morphed, and as Kale just says, there really needs to be a real kind of discussion of what the strategy is. And if there's a determination that ISIL poses the type of threat, the bro a broader type of threat, that as a country we ought to be tracking, we ought to be going after ISIL beyond just Syria and Iraq, then we ought to have a public discussion and debate about that, and I'd be open to that discussion. But, but the limitations ought to track what we think the objectives are. Colleen Stimson, do you see problems with having geographical limitations? 